In this video, you will learn about single packet authorization, how it is used to authenticate clients to the software defined perimeter, and how it defeats attacks on SSL. Let's start by looking at some of the recent attacks on SSL. There are a lot of them, and they have some great names like SSL Strip and the DigiNotar Forgery. And one of my favorites, the Hacker's Choice SSL DOS attack, because a single laptop can bring down a powerful server by taking advantage of the asymmetry of performance required by the SSL protocol. But as you can see here, single packet authorization defeats all of them when attempted by unauthorized users. Further, as we will see in a future video, Bitter's implementation of mutual TLS with PIN certificates, stapled OCSP responders, and a predefined cipher, all of which are only possible because of the SDP client, also defeat these attacks when attempted by authorized users. But from the point of view of this video, the takeaway is that single packet authorization defeats all of them very efficiently, such that only a very limited amount of server performance is required to defeat the attacks. So let's take a look at single packet authorization. Single packet authorization was invented over 10 years ago and is commonly used by admins using SSH for super user access to servers, where it does a very good job of mitigating attacks on the SSH port by unauthorized users. As we've mentioned a number of times, the software defined perimeter didn't really invent new protocols, rather it is more of a workflow of existing protocols and the single packet authorization used by the software defined perimeter was based on RFC 4226, HMAC based, one time password, or hot P. The RFC was originally created for token based, one time passwords. As pointed out earlier, single packet authorization occurs before the TLS connection and mitigates DOS and other attacks on TLS by unauthorized users. The packet of the single packet authorization consists of the universal ID of the SDP client, so we know which client is trying to be authorized, a 64-bit counter, which is the variable input to the algorithm that changes for each attempt, the one-time password that is generated by HotP, i.e. the value we are looking for, and a GMAC of the first three to verify the integrity of the packet. In order to create the one-time password and the GMAC, the client must also have a seed which is a shared secret used to create the one-time password, and an encryption key, which is a shared secret used to generate the GMAC. The formula for creating the one-time password is a simple hash applied to the seed concatenated with the counter. The GMAC then authenticates the data using the Galois counter mode algorithm with the UID, OTP, and counter as additional data. The packet itself is sent as clear text, then the counter is incremented to defeat playback attempts. Finally, this slide once again points out that single packet authorization is a highly efficient algorithm for rejecting unauthorized users, which enables it to efficiently defeat attacks against TLS. There you have it, single packet authorization algorithm.